hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this looping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of adobe illustrator and if you are interested in logo animation and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy course on logo animation link is available in the description and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started <laughs> So first of all here we are in adobe illustrator now i have created this simple blank document height width is 1920 by 180 now i'm going to select my pen tool so i'll press p for pen tool and then uh, we will create some random shape like from here i'll click once then by holding shift i'll click over here to create this kind of stroke then by holding shift i'll create one click over here then by holding shift make sure that it should be aligned properly with this one and create another then by holding shift one over here and hold shift and one over here okay then press v to select our selection tool and after doing that if you think that there is a little bit of difference between these two so simply select this select this two points uh, and try to move them a little bit upward uh, let's select this and we will select this tool over here direct selection tool and we will select these two points and with the help of down arrow keys i'll try to adjust the properly like this now again simply select all of them and hit a to select this tool and over here i'm going to make it completely like this okay now this looks good to me now after that select this and uh, let's uh, select this hit a again and we will select this point and we will move this over here like this similarly i'll select this one and i'll try to move this over here let's hit ctrl r to bring our ruler like this and we will bring one line which is going to be parallel with this one let's select this and try to adjust this shape according to the guideline like this similarly this one also should be over here yeah i think this looks good to me uh, similarly zoom in a little bit select this point and try to adjust it to over here okay like this okay then i'll move this guideline somewhere around over here let's select this point and try to adjust it over here okay so now we know don't need this guideline so hit ctrl 0 now our shape is ready now uh, let's select our uh, ellipse tool and we are going to choose black color for this ellipse and i'm going sorry not white but black hit ok and we will create one ellipse let's move this over here by holding alt i'll create a duplicate of it again create a duplicate of it like this and try to move them over here like this okay now go over here click on this icon go over here and release to layer sequence and by holding shift i'm going to select all of them and i'll bring them downward select this empty layers delete select this layer and delete okay so now we have one stroke and this three ellipse and now we will save this file now we will go to the adobe after effect let's create a new composition we will call it as main animation as always width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 and duration is also 30 and background color is white then simply hit ok choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection now press ctrl i to select our illustrator file simply select this import as footage composition written layers and sizes and simply hit import and we will bring our layer over here now double click to open this now hit ctrl k to open the project settings and we are going to change the color of this one to white like this okay now i'm going to select this last layer right click create and shape from text and we will delete this fifth layer we don't need that now select this layer 
go to the add menu and we are going to choose trim path go to the trim path and let's make this somewhere around 14 this looks good now select this uh, ellipse and try to adjust them over here now we will bring our ruler so hit ctrl r again and we will bring this over here just for our measurements and one over here like this then select this ellipse and try to move them a little bit over here okay so now we have adjusted this create one keyframe at start and one keyframe at end go to around one second and now uh, let's uh, increase the size of this one uh, up to let's say 58 uh, as you guys can see this is going a little bit outward so instead of 58 we will choose 57.5 so it will automatically come over here similarly we will change the start value also up to let's say 42 maybe or let's say 44 let's say 43.5 yeah like this okay and select those keyframes and hit f9 so if you see we will get this kind of animation then we will go to around two seconds again we will create another keyframes go to around three seconds let's make this fit zoom in a little bit and now uh, let's make this uh, end value up to somewhere around like 100 and start value somewhere around let's say 85 or let's say 85.5 86 okay 86 look good so if you see this now we will get something like this okay now select all of this three ellipse press p for position create one keyframe go to over here create another keyframe over here and we will bring them downward zoom in a little bit and let's try to move this over here okay then go few frame forward again create another keyframe and in middle of that i'll bring them a little bit upward to get this bounciness effect like this then again at this point i'll create another keyframes go over here and zoom out a little bit let's bring them downwards like this make sure that it should touch this edge go few frame forward select all of them and create another keyframe and in middle of that let's bring them upward again now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor right click and make sure to choose edit speed graph now I'll select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here select this and move one handle over here zoom in a little bit select this keyframe move one handle over here and move one handle over here select this move this one over here and this one over here so if you see this now we will get something like this same procedure we will follow for this one also move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here and again over here we will adjust this and this this and this okay so now what i want they should start to animate one by one so i'll go somewhere around at this point i want their animation should start so I'll select this one over here and I'll move this over here hit page down button few times so go from forward I'll select this and I'll move this over here again page down button two times select this uh, and move this over here go to the start select all of them by holding shift and hold alt open bracket to trim them up to here so we will get this animation one by one and now after that at this point this one should start to animate first so over here we don't need to shift all of this we will shift the keyframe so i'll select this one i'll select those keyframes and i'll move them at this point then go somewhere around over here these keyframes are properly at their place 
then go somewhere around over here i'll select this keyframes and i'll move them over here so if you see this animation now i'll get something like this then something like this now select all of them and enable their motion blur like this okay now go to the main animation now as you guys can see we have animated this structure now we need this in the form of loop so first of all i'll move this at this point over here zoom in a little bit and try to adjust it properly over here if you want then you can press ctrl r and bring this ruler over at this point okay select this press p create one keyframe and let's make this fit go few frame forward go inside this hit u and check out where is the last keyframes which is at this point then go to the main animation again select this and try to bring this over here okay zoom in a little bit and let's try to move this over here and hit n over here let's make this fit so if you see this animation now we will get this animation in the form of loop continuously and then uh, press ctrl y to create one solid background choose white color and let's move this over here right click new and create one null object select this make it apparent with this null select this null press s and if you want then you can increase the size of this animation okay then you can right click create adjustment layer and then you can apply tint effect on it so you can swap this colors also according to your needs then you can go over here you can change the color of this one to complete black and then go inside this uh, group one stroke one and over here line cap right now it's butt cap but you can choose round cap and if you want then you can change the stroke width also it's totally up to you so as you guys can see you will get this kind of animation over here okay so this is how you can create this kind of looping animation inside of after effects and with the help of illustrator i'm going to choose stroke width up to 10 pixels only okay